And I think the way that I perceived the, uh, an art career at that time was sort of to position oneself in relation to art history such that one would be remembered forever. Right, yeah. If I want to be really sure. like, you know, yeah. basic and very honest about it. Yeah, a legacy. Yeah, yeah. so this, this is like, a, this, is, this is an idea of, um, we want to be immortal. Sure. And everyone wants that actually. Yeah. And, and it's interesting because um, it's sort of like, a, it's, it's, there's a truth to that. Mm. That's what I've been reflecting on. You know, I've been reflecting on this a lot lately. And, um, there's now. a truth to that, like to that, just in the fact that in that desire, that desire to, to be, to, to, to want to be, especially for artists, I think it, it exists, this desire for, for, for immortality and the, the way that we perceive it, especially in, 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 in bigger cities and when you're really in that, in that world, in the contemporary art world, we, there is this perception that in order to um, really succeed as an artist, one might, you know, the, sort of the pinnacle, the peak of the art career is like a, a show at MoMA. Yeah, right. A, a gallery in Chelsea, like you, you mentioned before, mm. who's going to like represent mm. you, um, a powerful gallery, sure. hopefully. Yeah. Um, and entry into the canon of art, art, of art history. Right. You know? and, um, yeah. and that's the, the, the drive there is a drive for immortality. Yeah. But the problem is that the way that we're... It's a very immature, childish, cartoon-like way of perceiving immortality. And the thing is, sure. it does, I think, point to a real, um, a truth. It points to truth, actually. It points to the truth that of, 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 our, inherent, of our inherent immortality, actually. Mm. Of, of, the, of what is really inherently eternal within yeah. us, you know, and... Mm. and it's just that like we've get, we get certain things and I certainly had this, you know, certain ways of perceiving how to, how to like, how to abide in that. Mm -hmm. and, and the art school teaches a certain paradigm, a certain step and a certain, a certain uh, kind of a, a path. And it sketches out a kind of a ladder for that happening. Mm -hmm. um, but that's, it's a, it's, it's a mind created, mm -hmm. um, it comes from it comes from a certain kind of conditioning of the mind right. uh, and it comes from also a certain kind of um, it comes from a limited conception of, of what what mortality is and what 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 truth is and what 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 really what what the truth of our being really is and, mm. and, and that's something that I think can only be uncovered by the by the deconditioning um, process the destructive process actually of, of uncovering who we truly are sure. and, and, um, it's like a mini death it's really. it is yeah. it is yeah yeah and anyone who's experienced it knows and it's and it's uh, um, so it's the yeah it's I think it's important to talk about like this this different paradigm and, and the art the art school paradigm the mm. art the contemporary art paradigm because it's mm. um, it's there's a lot of I think healing that needs to be done Mm -hmm. in, in that in that world and, and for a lot of artists who, who misperceive where they're going and why. Right.